Oh no. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, hi guys. Just a second. Sorry. Sorry guys. Um, I, I was just catching up on uh, the, the footage of Sick Week 2022. Uh, I can't show you any unfortunately because of copyright issues. But uh, if you want to have a look, um, after you've watched my video of course, go and do a, a search for Tom Bailey's uh, Sick Week 2022. Uh, fantastic event. Must get over there and do that at some point. What an amazing way to spend five days. Anywho, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that I've only got half a garage roof at the moment because of the storms and it's too wet and still too windy to do anything outside. So what I thought I would do is have a look through all the photographs that I took when I was converting the front of my charger from drum brakes to disc brakes. They're all photographs because it was back in 2015 and I didn't have any recording equipment and I wasn't on, uh, well I didn't have a YouTube channel back then. So what I'll do is I'll upload the photos and uh, I'll talk through them in the background so you can see what's going on in the photos and hopefully get a better understanding of what's involved in converting something like a charger from drum brakes to disc brakes. So I bought my disc brake conversion kit from Summit Racing in the US. Uh, as far back as I remember, I think it was uh, around about $1,200 at the time. This is the kit as it arrived. As I was changing the complete drum brake system at the front for a disc brake setup, uh, when I took the drum off, I just took all the brakes off completely as uh, in one piece, still attached to the back and plate because I wasn't going to be using those anymore. When you get your kit, you need to build the hub assembly and join it to the disc. All the bolts are supplied and the uh, the, look, the wheel bolts are supplied as well. Uh, well. You'll need to put it all together yourself when it comes out of the box. You can see the mountain bracket on the left hand side, the black bit there. That's a new mountain bracket for the caliper. Obviously I went with new bearings as well. I just put the hub on, put the bolt and uh, the nut on and uh, drove the bearings on that way. When I ordered the kit from Summit Racing, there is a warning on the sales page saying that not all 15 inch wheels will fit the new disc and caliper depending on the offset and that's the problem that I had when I got the new kit fitted. This is my original wheel, a 15 by 7 which didn't fit. It was fouling on the new brake caliper so I did the right thing, went on the interwebs, found a new set of wheels with the right offset that would fit the caliper and I bought those. This is the new one. And this is the original one on the left with the new one on the right, as well as the difference between the offset on the pair of them. I also got a Willwood Master Cylinder as part of the kit and a proportion and valve visible on the right. The Master Cylinder was bench bled and bled again through the pedal before I connected the brake lines to it. All I had to do after that was bleed the brakes, put the wheels on and take the car for a run to make sure everything was working properly. Here's a picture of it, finished, parked, after it being for its run. If you made it this far, fellas and fellarettes, give yourselves a medal. Sorry it was a little bit boring with just photographs and no actual video, but storms and insurance companies dependent. I'll be back with more videos very soon and we'll get back to normal. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell and all that good stuff everybody says at the end of the YouTube videos. I'll stick a link up here to another video from the Charger uh, so you can get involved and have a look at that if you want to. Thanks very much for now, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.